Twin Cities Adventures here, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to clean an oriental rug with a power washer. Right here we have an eight by 10 oriental rug. I just cleaned this one, and it's all dry and ready to be placed anywhere you want in the house. But first, I'm gonna show you about which power washer you should purchase if you wanna do this yourself. Just a simple guide, this is the power washer I have. I would buy one that's between 3200 PSI and 3600 PSI, give or take 100 or two. So these mid medium range power washers have enough power to wash pretty much anything for your home do-it-yourselfer. The electric ones, in my opinion, are too weak. They're just like your hose with a good nozzle on it. And the industrial ones are too powerful for at-home use. Those are more for commercial people who are doing like large boats or warehouses. Okay, so since this is also my pressure washer, I'll take you through the process now. First of all, flip your rug upside down and give it a nice spray just to wet it down and clean the bottom of the rug off. And I'm using the green tip, which is the universal tip for the power washer. Once you completely cover the whole bottom of the rug and clean it off, then you can go to the next step. And now it's time to use the cleaning solution. And you need to add your intake tube to the pressure washer right here on this little nub. So just press this on here. And then this end goes into a bucket with the diluted cleaning solution. Flip your rug right side up and put the black tip on your sprayer. And now it's time to apply the cleaning solution. Do a nice even coat. And when you're finished with the whole rug, you're going to let that sit for a few minutes. And then you're going to put the green tip back on and do a thorough pressure wash to your rug. See, we have our green tip back on our wand now. So now you're going to go back and forth and you're going to do a thorough pressure wash and I would recommend doing this two or three times to get that nice and clean. And now I take a squeegee and I squeegee all of the water off of the rug. If you don't have a squeegee, you can always use a shop vac. And then once it's thoroughly cleaned off, you're going to want to let that sit in the sun and dry out for a day or two. You can lay that on a flat surface or over a couple of easels. So this rug, I sat in the driveway for about a day. And then I pulled it around the back of the house after that, and I put it in the back patio. I laid it over a couple easels, and I threw this fan uh, right in the middle of it, and I let the fan go for about a day. So it dried for a couple of days outside, and then I brought it in here to the house. This is in my kid's karate dojo, and I just put the fan on it for about a day or two, and then I put the HEPA filter in here also. There's really no reason why I did that other than I wanted to just purify it and make sure that it was bone dry, which it already was when I brought it in, but just to be sure to get any funny smells out of it, I just let it chill out for a day or two down here with the fans and the filter on. So now it's ready, it's ready to go. Hope that gives you an idea on how to clean your Oriental rug at home using a pressure washer. And I hope it's easy so you don't have to pay to ship it off and have someone do it for hundreds of dollars. This was free if you have a pressure washer. Otherwise, if you don't have a pressure washer, I suppose you could just use your hose with a like nozzle with a sprayer on it. And you could use like a diluted cleaning solution and just maybe scrub it with a brush. It'd probably take a little more time. I will add in a link below the video of where you can get a pressure washer exactly like mine and the cleaning solution. So if it'll make it easier. Thanks for watching. Twin Cities Adventures, out.